Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me in this food vlog. My name is QP and today we are at College Roadhouse here in Austin, Texas. Now College Roadhouse is a Korean restaurant that has a really fun bar vibe to it. I've checked out their menu and there isn't as much variety as you would find in a regular Korean restaurant. And that's because College Roadhouse specializes in like, Korean style bar food. So dishes that are great for sharing and um, enjoying with friends. So the reason I chose to come to College Roadhouse is because they actually have a few dishes here that are Aren't available at any other Korean restaurants that I've been able to find um, and I am excited to give those a try so let's go ahead and go on in and see how the food is so we are here at College Roadhouse I ordered the military hot pot we also got their uh, KFC which is Korean fried chicken some sizzling uh, cheese corn and then we also have this silkworm right here I'm not gonna lie it has a very very interesting smell but I've never had it before I'm gonna give it a try I was just gonna try try one but I'm gonna be brave here and just try a whole spoonful. Um, smells, I don't know, I can't even describe the smell. Very kind of earthy, almost there. like fishy. It's so nervous. Okay so it's actually really kind of really nutty. Um, the flavor is not as intense as like it smells. It's a lot more mild. And then when you bite into it, like it, it's not as gooey as you think. I thought I was gonna bite into it and have it kind of just burst in my mouth and be like super gooey inside and it's not that bad. All right, cheers. Mm, okay, that one burst. <laughs> That one like exploded in my mouth, but not that bad. I would definitely say that the smell is the strongest part of it, but the flavor is very mild and it has a very crispy, like nutty texture to it. And then if you can get past the kind of explosiveness um, of biting into it, it's actually not that bad. So first experience with silkworm, I survived. <laughs> Right? The flavor is very mild. Alright, so this is the sizzling corn cheese. Um, some corn with, it looks like some American cheese and some type of white cheese. And there's a little bit of, it looks like dried uh, herbs on top. The cheese pull on this is no joke. I'm gonna give this a try. That's so good because the corn is super sweet and then you're getting like this um, kind of chewy, uh, like cheesy flavor from the cheeses. Overall, really, really good. Um, our fried chicken just arrived and it looks amazing. So this is the KFC, otherwise known as the Korean fried chicken. I got it in like a no sauce version and also a sweet and chili Korean sauce. All right, I'm gonna try the uh, unsauced dry one first. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> so good. The meat in this is like super juicy, and it's absolutely delicious. So the meat is like very juicy and flavorful, and then the crust is really flavorful as well. I'm gonna go in with the Korean sweet chili sauce. Oh. The flavors in that sauce is amazing. It's not that spicy. Um, and it's not overly sweet either. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like delicious. A little bit of like nuttiness from the sesame seeds that's on it. And you can definitely taste a little bit of that sesame flavor. And there's a slight hint of like acidity from like um, vinegar or something in that sauce as well. Overall, really, really good. All right, so next up is the military hot pot. Now, this military hot pot in the description, it says that after the Korean War in the 1950s, the U.S. Army brought canned meat into Korea. This popular stew was created as a fusion between the two countries. So it has ground beef, spam, bacon, hot dogs, tofu, 
kimchi, veggies, and instant ramen noodles in a spicy broth. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm actually really excited to try it because I have seen this all over the place on Instagram. I love that this has the instant ramen in it. And it just kind of gives it a very nice like childhood memory kind of type of dish to it. Okay, I'm just going to go in. <laughs> Mm. Really good. You can taste the broth. The broth has definitely a lot of that kimchi flavor in it. So it has a little bit of sourness. A little bit of that spiciness to it. Um, and then the ramen is just so good. You get some kimchi in there as well. Mm. So good. So you guys can see how big this is. This is actually normally for a lot of people. Today it's just me and Jordan sharing it, but um, I like that it's like a very kind of like shared pot um, style of dish and you can like just enjoy this with a bunch of friends and I'm going to get like a small bowl. All of this is amazing. I'm going to dig in a little bit more. I'm here with Jordan today. So we're going to um, you know just enjoy this food. They were actually kind enough to um, give us a flight of soju. Um, so right here I have a yogurt yeah. soju, a plum soju. This is a what they call their strawberry shortcake, which is strawberry soju with yogurt soju. And then this is, um, she says this is their manager's creation. It's like a citrus soju. I just want to point out that they do have a lot of soju here because you know, it is a bar style restaurant. Um, so you do come here and check out the soju. They have a ton. I'm gonna. Let's give some of these a try and see how they are. This one is the yogurt one. Oh, that's really good. I'll give some to the cameraman now. I love that. It's like really milky and then sweet and it has just very slight um, alcohol taste to it. So it's like very subtle. Very easy to drink though. Okay, and then this one is the plum. You can definitely taste and smell the plum aroma in that. It's really yummy. It smells delicious. Again, it's very light. I've had some sojus in the past that are just very overwhelming. These are like really light and very like refreshing. And then this is the strawberry shortcake, which is strawberry and uh, um, yogurt soju. Oh, that tastes like dessert. Honestly, that's so good. Definitely tastes a little bit more of that fruitiness from the strawberry. And then this is the citrus one. Kind of like a milky lemonade. Those, okay, that description did not do it justice. It doesn't sound that great, but it tastes really good. These are all really good. I've had soju before, as I mentioned, um, but the flavors here are delicious and they're like really light and refreshing. So yeah, definitely give the soju here a try. I totally didn't think about it um, dining here, but they are delicious. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this food vlog here at College Roadhouse. I apologize if I have food all over my face, which I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> um, everything was amazing. I definitely recommend coming here with a bunch of friends, trying the military hot pot, trying the uh, Korean fried chicken. The corn is amazing. The um, silkworms, very, very interesting flavor. If you are adventurous, highly recommend trying that because I don't think you can get, get that anywhere else here in Austin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have some opinions in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.